Alright guys, so I've decided I'm going to be playing through the King's Quest series, starting with Wizard and the Princess, which was a graphical text adventure game released in 1980. It was re-released in 1982 under the title Adventure in Serenia, which is what you're seeing here. This is the DOS version. This predates the release of the King's Quest series, but takes place in the same universe, specifically in the same sort of setting as King's Quest V. Alright, you're in the d village of Serenia, around you is a desert. I am looking at a uh, guide, so we're going to work our way through the desert here. Hopefully this game records properly, what's it called, like tethering or whatever is how, these, how the color graphics work, but I know that's difficult to uh, record the video of properly. There's a snake, so we're going to throw a rock at it and kill it. Hit the snake on the head with a rock and kill it. Alright, good. North. Our guy's getting thirsty, so drink some water. East. Get stick. This can wait off rattlesnakes. Um, if they show up, which they sometimes do, sometimes don't. It's, it's random. Here's a locket. West. Note. Let's read the note. There's some strange writing on the note. Well, that's helpful. Not really, but you know. All right, let's help out the snake. Get rock. When you remove the rock from the snake's tail, the snake looks at you and says, "I am king of the snakes, and to repay you, I will give you a magic word." Hiss. Then he leaves. Okay. South. All right, we got rattlesnake. So use stick. Alright, that got it away. Look hole. Let's see, there's a cracker. We'll grab it. Move north twice. Alright, we're reaching the end of the desert. You are at the south edge of a deep chasm. There is a cottage and some woods on the other side. Hocus. I assume there's some way to figure out why you need to say Hocus that the guide just completely skips over the point where you figure it out because it just gives you the word straight up. I would assume or else this game is way too cryptic. Alright, so we're going to cross that. You're on the north edge of a deep chasm. There's a bridge spanning the chasm. Alright, so move north. There's a little gnome. Let's look at him. Little Gnome grabs some of your things and runs away with them. Well, that's great. He just stole all their stuff. Move east, then north. Alright, so if we say hiss, and we turn into a snake, which makes us smaller, obviously. Go hole. You're in an underground tunnel. There's a small crevice going to the outside here. Move south go through this tunnel. There's all our stuff. Get all. There we go. Grabbed everything. Unlock door. Open door. I'm going to go through the hole rather than up the stairs. And now we're back outside. in the woods. There's a uh, parrot. Give him the cracker. The parrot eats the cracker and is very grateful. He sets a vial of liquid on the tree branch for you. There is a vial here. I'm going to take that. Alright. Alright, we fill their flask. You're at the edge of the woods, you see the ocean. I love it doesn't even point out the fact there's a lion standing right in front of you. 
give him some bread. The lion wolfs down the bread and then walks away. All right, let's grab the rope. Get in the boat. There's a hole in it. So let's plug it with the blanket. There we go, you stuff the blanket into the hole. Let's hope it works. All right, well, we're heading out. Starting to get thirsty again. Thankfully we filled our flask earlier, so drink water. There we go. Now we are on the beach of an island. So let's get out of our boat, so go beach. You are in the jungle of the island. There's a tree house up in a large tree. A path goes east and south. Let's get the anchor on the beach here. There we go, now we're back. Tie rope. And then it says to what? Sort of a two part command here. To anchor. The anchor is tied to the rope. You are in the jungle of the island. There is a tree house up in a large tree. A path goes east and south. Okay. I'm gonna throw the uh, this rope and hook over the branch. The rope is thrown over the branch. You are in the jungle. Yeah. Okay. Just the same thing again. We're gonna go up. Get shovel. Back down. And dig on the X. There we go. We've, you've uncovered a treasure chest. A pirate jumps from behind a tree. Shiver me timbers, trying to steal my treasure. He grabs the chest and runs. Man, did he just sit there all day and check if somebody's going to notice the X? Here we are. And go in the cave. Here's where that ended up, so. There's a small harp. This is really this is definitely a game you'd have to map out to figure out on your own. Drink vial. Now we have turned into a bird essentially. Oh, basically our arms turn to wings, that'd be it. Gonna fly north. Change back into yourself again. This beautiful sapphire ring here. Alright, get Rin. There's some random chick. Here's a rainbow. Alright, we followed the rainbow and there's a gold coin. Coin. Here's a rickety bridge. You're at the east edge of a deep gorge. There's a rickety bridge crossing the gorge. I don't think it can hold much weight. So basically, if you walk over it, it'll collapse and you'll die. Which is, you know, not good. So you gotta say the secret word, which is Lucy, which makes you drop all your stuff. Everything you are carrying disappears. You have nothing left. You are at the east edge of a deep gorge. There's a rickety bridge. Don't think it can hold much weight. All right, almost twice. Here's basically all your stuff ended up over here, so get all. Oh, how do I exit cave? There we go. It doesn't say exit cave in the guide, so. Huh. The giant play harp. The giant is a great lover of music. He thanks you for the harp and leaves with it. I didn't say you could have the harp. And again, I guess it's better than him killing me. Here's a peddler. 
There's a peddler here selling wares for one gold coin each. All right. I'm gonna buy the horn off him. With our coin. There's a moat. You're in front of the castle. The moat around the castle is full of crocodiles. So if we play the horn, it'll lower the drawbridge. There we go. I'm gonna head in. You're in the entry hall of the castle. There are doorways to the north, west, and south, which is behind you. Okay. So now that we're in the castle, we're gonna go. Okay, we're in a maze. Yeah, this would be totally something you have to map out. There we go. Yeah, use our knife to pick the lock. Yeah, you pick the lock. Open door. There we go. These games are always so cryptic. Alright, here we go. East. Going up the stairs. For some reason you have to go down and then back up, which is really counterintuitive that because this bird only shows up after you do that. We're up ring. You turn to a cat and leap up and eat the bird. You are yourself again. It's kind of weird, but whatever. There's like no explanation as to why you have to do this, but essentially, like, you find the frog who you kiss and then turns into the princess, but for some reason if you kiss the frog without like eating this bird, it won't work. I have no idea why. It just is. There's the frog. Kiss frog. Reverse gender roles here. The frog becomes a princess. There is a princess following you. You're in a tiny room. Okay. Alright, we look in the closet. There's a pair of shoes. Put on these shoes. You gotta say the magic word, whoosh. You were transported to Serenia. There's a princess falling. I wonder if you could actually walk all the way back if you wanted to. Obviously, this is a much preferred way. Now we head north. Congratulations, you have safely returned the princess to Serenia. For this outstanding feat, you have been declared a junior master adventurer. Would you like to play again? No, I see no reason to. So essentially, that was the game. When it was released in Adventure in Serenia, it basically gives a weird plot in the manual, which acts like it's a sequel, but it's literally 100% the same game code in the same game, so whatever. This game was remade in, I think, 1983 in Japan with significantly improved graphics. I would love to play that version, but number one, I don't have a copy of it. Number two, I don't speak Japanese. I'm not aware of any fan translation. So we're going to be skipping that game and moving straight on to King's Quest 1.